Hi guys, welcome to week six maths. Um, this week we are moving on to money, money and financial maths. Um, so we're going to just give a bit of an outview of what your expectations are for the week. Um, if you have any questions, jot them down and you can ask me um, during the video conference today, Monday. Um, even if you're not in my literacy room, feel free to jump on and have a listen if you've got questions in particular you want to know about maths for the week. Um, so don't forget about the planner. The plan is here for you. So jump on and have a look on there, especially have a look at what the upload requirements are in the right hand column. Uh, today, guys, you're going to have uh, two essential assessments. We want to finish uh, a post test on whole numbers. Some, only a couple of you have not, didn't do the pre test last time. So you'll just do the pre test for me if it doesn't allow you to do a post test because you need to have done the pre test. And I'll just take that as your score. Um, and a pre-test for me, please, on money and financial maths. You'll then need to complete the basic money skills and then upload your photos of those money skills to the Google slide and then officially hand it in. The Google slide looks like this. Make sure we read the success criteria. Okay. Um, the warm-up game this week, by the way, is Neighbours, guys. Neighbours is this week's warm-up game. Uh, Pat, we've got a little Monday workload slide note here. So the longest elements are obviously going to be the two time essential assessments. Please don't rush them. Um, do them independently with all your pre and post tests that you're doing. Don't ask for help from mum and dad if you don't know the answers um, because that's what it's about, me getting a raw score, meaning your official score and what you currently know and don't know is are okay. We've got things to work on and improve upon, okay? If you... I work into the maths requirements time-wise and you're out of time, you better come back to some of these basic maths fa uh, money facts tomorrow. Um, but I really need to get the essential assessments done first of all. So yeah, whole number, post-test, pre-test on money and financial maths. Then we've just got some basic money facts. Nothing too hard, just making sure we get our heads switched on with money for the week, okay? Um, so just giving me the totals in your book here for the A, B, C, and so on. Uh, here, and this one here for the basic money facts, we're going to be doing a lot of work with budgeting. So it's determining, okay, if I have my budget amount, $64, where does that sit on a number line? And the green is meaning that if it's inside your budget, it's going to be green. If it's over budget, it's going to be red. So I need you to just to do some basic budget work for me. It's again just switching our mind on. Um, the next section here. Yeah, uh, if you've got your budget, can you get it or not? Yes or no? Or how much more money do you need? So a little bit of calculations. So you might need to do some either subtraction or some addition of decimals. Okay, hence why we did that work last week. Um, and very similar again with these ones and a comparing one with your budget as well at the same time. So read the instructions and then upload um, a photo of your answers down into here. Or you can certainly you can add extra slides to add more photos if you need to, or attach them to the actual Google um, Classroom link. This one here, if needed, just attach them all in here and then submit this one. That's for Monday. Tuesday, we're going to move on to. I've got some videos for you to watch. Really important you watch these videos first. Just follow through the instructions. Okay, it says watch the videos first. Learn a little bit more about money and why budgets and what's important. All these things which are going to be really important to understand with that money. And you've got a couple of budget scenarios to go through. And just do these in your book as well for me, guys, okay? So uh, if you're gonna have a family pet, uh, you can choose to purchase a new family pet of your choice. Your budget is $350 to buy all your pet stuff, um, all the essentials that you may need to live with the pet. So you need to plan it out and then record them below, making sure you're staying within your budget range. What you will find on the slides, guys, that I have for this one is I want you to make it as realistic as possible. You've got more of these again on Thursday as well. So we're going to do some more budget work on Thursday with some school veggie patch and school supplies. But what you will find on the slides, I've recommended that you actually use realistic shops. Make it realistic. Don't just guess or search around. Go realistic. What would you go to? Where would you go to in Ballarat if you're going to have a pet? and budget for that pet, okay? So that's our week. Um, if you've got budgeting, money, all those things, if you've got any questions, please tune in um, to today's video conference or for tomorrow's video conference.